Botafogo beat Boa Vista today in an official match for the Carioca Championship of 2023. The goals were scored by Chiquinho Suarez, Victor Sa, Patrick G. Paula. Chiquinho Suarez scored two goals in the 4 nil victory. It was a great performance all around, especially tactically and defensively. Even though Boa Vista is in last place in the Carioca, it was a good chance to really impose uh, Luis Castro's philosophy of playing. And, to, you know, when you play a team like that, and when you are a big team like Botafogo, when you're a team that on paper you clearly have the advantage, it's more than the obligation to win and to win well and to win convincingly, which is what, what the Botafogo did here today. Uh, with Tiquinho Suarez uh, finding his confidence again by scoring those two goals. And he also had an assist. Victor Sá scored a goal and also had assists. And Patrick Gipala scored a beautiful volley, a first-time volley with a beautiful pass from one of Tiquinho's assists. The club is currently in second place overall, only behind Flamengo. Botafogo's got 13 points, while Flamengo has 14. Botafogo's also tied with Volta Redonda, that also has 13 points. But Botafogo, because of the 4-0 victory today, um, it jumped in front of Voltaso due to the goal scored difference. In completing the G4, there is uh, Fluminense. Botafogo still has a match left to play. Um of the scheduled matches um they're gonna play against vasco da gama which is one of the um, one of the fixtures that were supposed to happen a couple of weeks ago but didn't uh and then the next match coming up for the glorious one is against bangu which is in fifth place is a traditional smaller but traditional team from rio and that's going to happen next saturday at 3 p.m so Luis Castro is going to probably give the players off tomorrow and then they will have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday to prepare. And this will be in Rio at the Ilha do Governador where Botafogo plays at the Portuguesa Stadium while the Newton Santos is going through renovations. The renovations happening all around the stadium where the, the club is actually having a new pitch put in and cleaning up the surroundings of the stadium as well as the roof of the Newton Santos. There's lots of improvements being done there as well as the training grounds. So lots and lots and lots being done there at the Lonier Training Center as well. Out of the match for me was Chiquinho Suarez with the two goals and the assist. Not only that, but uh, how efficient he is and how dedicated he is to the tactics of the team and, and the following instructions you saw to King Suarez go all the way back to the defensive end to defend and, and steal the ball and, and start a counterattack. Uh, honor, honorable mentions to Victor Saf for scoring a goal and having assists. Um, everybody really, you know, played well for the exception of um, Lucas Piazon and Marlon Freitas a little bit. Uh, they didn't. They didn't have a bad game. They just weren't on on the level of everybody else, which was just superb. Uh, you know, let's just say Tiquinho nine out of ten, Victor Sa eight out of ten. You know, and then from there on, most of the squad was about a seven out of ten, except for Piazon and and Marlon. I'd say Piazon is about a six, and so were so was Marlon. They didn't. They didn't compromise, but they didn't really um, create much other than. Um, just follow what Luis Castro told him to do, which was the least that they can do on, on the pitch. And and it worked. And the team uh, came out with the victory. And now we are fighting for the for the title of this tournament. It's one of the tournaments of the year that we, we will probably have the ability to win. I think the Carioca and the Sul Americana Cups are the two titles that we can clinch this year. The Copa do Brazil, I think it will come third, and I, I don't believe we are there just yet for the Brasileirão Serie A. I don't think we have all of the names and, uh, and the depth of the squad to fight for that, but I do believe we can we can make a top six, top seven finish there. 
Uh, I'm expecting at least quarterfinals for Copa do Brasil, semifinal Copa do Brasil. Um, and we will see. I think we have a real shot at winning that Sul Americana. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave that like. It really helps the channel out. And we'll be back next week or maybe sometime this week if something really crazy happens as the as Botafogo has gone shopping. Shopping has started to strengthen the squad and we should have some some news, some something new popping up this sometime the along the week. So if Botafogo makes a signing, then I'll be making a video of making a short. So keep on checking that, turn the notifications on, and I'll see you next week.